the whole world is waiting for something worth celebrating. The next thing is gonna be amazing. San Diego. Hi to all those people with expensive boats and no tickets. We love you. But we don't care because it's all about energy, yeah? 
Just quickly, think of the word joy. Now say it. Joy! Now let's feel it. <laughs> Atmosphere gets kind of missed. Is there a good atmosphere? It feels like that. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't take yourself too seriously. Right? Although there is a lot of damage you can do sitting down. You know, it's all about sort of internal dancing. If you can't be bothered to stand up, and that's okay, because I never stand up at gigs. Because everyone thinks I'm trying to get noticed, so I always sort of sit. <laughs> but you don't have that problem, you can get noticed! I mean business. So much more. 
so hot, but it's kind of cold. I like it. You know, because basically heat is the enemy of fashion. You want to wear makeup? I don't know how you women do it in California, but you deserve all the praise you get. It's very hard to keep this stuff from shaking your ass. So, we are Culture Club. We're here. Mikey Craig. We're George. And yes, we're currently one man down. We're like a three leg table, but you never know when the other leg might come back. You know? San Diego, but there's people from all over here tonight. There's some people from Switzerland, people from New York. This really is like a sort of insane culture club, you know. It's so beautiful that, that there are people willing to travel halfway across the world to come to a show. Some of them become in boats and everything. Oh. And, uh, 
I guess the thing that pulls us all together is, is it music? I hope it's music. Of course, you can't separate the man from what he sings, what he wears, what he does. It's a kind of totality, you know what I'm saying? Thank you, I love you too. And uh, I'm in love with the strings on the beginning of this track. Like Roy Hay definitely excelled himself on this one. I'm like, ah! Oh! It's so beautiful. And uh, it's a little twisted song about love called Hold Back. some fun with some of the old songs, we've taken some liberties and we've also done some interesting dragging it back to how it sounded. Well, old school's a little literal, you know, 
Everything is now, baby. There is no past, there is no future. It's all happening right here. And the wonderful thing is, musically, you can just do whatever you feel like doing. As long as it's from a place of love. So, I love this song. This is where we kind of really try and encourage you to bust out a bit. Maybe do some little... Maybe some little... Maybe some, I don't know. It's reggae music, man. You can't really sit still when there's reggae music playing. So, are you ready to shake your asses? Sorry, is that bottoms? Bottoms is more British, isn't it? You shake your asses. Okay.
Funny how a kind of seemingly sad song puts everyone in such a good mood with such complicated things, aren't we? Human beings, well, on the subject of being a human being, my friend's daughter is 13, and anyone who's been 13 would know how difficult that absolutely is. It's been a while since I was 13, but I remember the rage I felt, the injustice, and I was around at my friend's house and her daughter was wearing the most amazing eyeliner. 13 and working this eyeliner voodoo, man, it was like... So I wrote a song, so if you're 13, or you know someone who's 13, let them know it gets better. The more eyeliner you put on, the better it gets. I need you to swing, 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 swing. Don't give up. You are always enough. Don't give up. And maybe don't act tough. That's all you need to do You wrap your love Inside and outside too. And there's only truth And there's no more rest Where the dark will go Where the fashion flies In the beauty parts Of a new disguise You thought you were calm But you were consumerized
So, you know, Joni Mitchell said songs are like tattoos. You know, I've been to see before. I always hide mine because they're very personal. But I don't have that problem when I'm singing about things, you know. This particular song is a very interesting song because I love a heckler. <laughs> is she saying a poem or just shouting? It's not a poem. Shh. Well, I do believe at heart you are a poet. So anyway, this particular song, you know, it's been around a while. And uh, I thought, how can I make this actually express what I truly felt at that time? Because, you know, it was kind of quite an emotional time. So I've kind of, you know, with the boys, we've had this interesting play around with it. And uh, we would love you to sing along with us. Will you? Do I have to take out one ear, maybe? Okay. And this is all Roy's fault. Roy and his sustained chords. Give me time.
I feel like I've known you long enough to do that with you. Thank you for, for being so beautiful. And, and <laughs> so we're going to stay in that kind of sad... Well, you know, is it sad really? It's kind of sad, but then you get over it and then it's not sad anymore, but... You sing it to someone and they're sad and it just extends the kind of... Hello. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's so nice. Because the husbands used to really hate Culture Club in the old days. <laughs> there was this sort of, there was like, do we have to go? And there was all girls and boys, you know, my flavour boys and girls. <laughs> and now it's kind of, oh. That's not very exciting. I used to get knickers, now I'm getting towels. <laughs> We need to work on this, this is not good. If it was like a big powder puff or something, that would be more helpful. Have a bath. <laughs> so let's do this. Uh, Roy's sitting at the piano. And he's just gonna play it. Oh, let me, oh, I've got these in, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. 
the word but we kind of made it quite famous didn't we? But it's not that one. This is more of a kind of planetary karma drama. Are you feeling it?
So I feel like, you know, some of you are dancing, some of you are watching, some of you can't decide. Diego, is it, a, is it an alcohol thing? Now I'm gonna let go because I paid for a lot of drinks. Well, I'm not judging you, don't get frightened. <laughs> so, most of us know what vinyl is, right? I mean, in this room, you know what vinyl is. It's this kind of sacred plastic thing that we used to buy records on. You know, I'm not being nostalgic because I hate nostalgia. Too much nostalgia is a racket. You know, love the past, but live in the now. But that doesn't mean you can't have a passion for things that are totally unnecessary, they're like plastic records. <laughs> I still collect them. This one's called Drop the Needle. came out obviously we were I'm just making sure I'm in the right place yeah, when this song came out obviously we were very young and we were loving in love with American soul music 
particularly Motown. When I was a kid, I used to listen to a lot of Motown. And I really wanted to make a song like that. So when we got the band together, we did this song called Church of the Poison Mind. Watching from your rooms, thinking about it about it.
you. In this for a while, you have to kind of make yourself fall back in love with what you're doing, you know? And I feel right now that I'm very much in love with what I do. And of course, you know, I speak for everyone up here because it's so exciting to be back on stage in America. The good news is America is as crazy as the UK, so it's fine. I don't feel like we've got some weird stuff going on in our country, but you know what? We're here in America and we're here for a couple of weeks. Then we go back and then we're coming back for a really long period, so. To tour, and uh, I don't know what the rules are here. You know, can you kind of just move about a bit or not? There's a lot of space here. I would come down, but I'm scared. I'll dance up here, but look, this is—he's okay. Look, just don't bother him. Don't bother the people in red. If you don't bother them, you'll be fine. But you know, just—you know what I mean? Okay, let's do it.
nobody's upset, you know, we don't want people getting disgruntled, hello, hello. Giving me stuff, I love getting stuff. Ooh. That'll just about go on my little finger. What will people say? <laughs> so when we originally did this song, everyone's like, it's the most ridiculous thing anyone's ever written. And I didn't disagree entirely. But you know, the sentiment still stands. This is the war song. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. This is Miss Be Blind. That was, you see, you should have gone with my decision. <laughs> oh, we've had a wind up. Let's have the war song instead. I was right all the time.
Uh, I'm afraid I gave the surprise away of the next song. I think it's going to be Miss Be Blind. And actually, before we start, I went to do a, a turn on um, RuPaul's Drag Race UK. Finally, they had the sense to book me, and because um, I know a lot about Drag America. Anyway, um, they, were, they were doing a sort of, a, a, what those things were, they sort of dance off thing to Miss Me Blind, and it was fabulous. It was absolutely... Two drag queens at war, it was brilliant. <laughs> okay, we're getting some like technical differences, but we're getting over it, because that's what we do. fabulous time, let me tell you. But that's what I came here for, I was determined. Okay, I'm just having a chat with my friends here, don't worry. Give me a beat!
Thank you so much. Oh, I think we're doing this. Sympathy. Wait, wait, no, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I'm just going to say hi. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I want to say a big thank you to Jacob here on the saxophone because a few hours ago we lost our sax player to the dreaded virus. We were going to put a tent round him, but I thought it probably wasn't a good idea. After all the dramas we've gone through, I thought we just. So Jacob stepped in, God bless him, and he's done an amazing job. Fixing his sound around our kind of chaos, you know, opening night chaos. Um, but thank you. There's always so much warmth in the crowd when we play our gigs, you know. And thank you for that. And uh, I was reading a thing the other day that Mick Jagger said about Harry Styles. He was like, he was saying, oh, Harry doesn't move like me, he doesn't sound like me. I'm like, when are you going to realise, Mick Jagger, everybody wants to be you? <laughs> or Bowie, or Dylan, or one of those. You know, that's a great aspiration, I have to say. So let's do a little tribute to Mick, because I love Mick. some more drums.
You like the time when um, I was I played bad mouth organ very badly, like just badly, and my friend on stage had used this when it was the wrong key, and I did the most avant-garde harmonica solo you've ever heard. So be prepared. Okay. i 
man I love And he'll be big and strong The man I love And when he comes my way I'll do my best To make him stay He'll look at me and smile, I'll understand And in a little while he'll take my hand And though it seems absurd, I know we both Chameleon. Go. 